Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS Q551L model. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can service, repaste and clean up the fan system in the laptop. They do get really hot and they do can cause a distortion artifacts in the windows on the screen because of the overheating of the GPU. You have to do your own repaste or cleaning every few years, every two years at least. I would recommend you every year, depending on the usage that you're going to have. I'm going to try to get this video as short as possible, so we're going to get it started. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a, a paper towel or workshop towel. We need one sheet of the workshop towel. I'll leave all this link in my video description in case you need to purchase yours. A good screwdriver set is really good to have around. I fix it. Screwdriver sets are one of the best. They have S2 class steel. We're going to be using a torque number five for now. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with a tweezers and opening tool. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You will need a curved tweezers or a straight tweezers. I want right over here. You will need a toothbrush, new used toothbrush, alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic 95% plus. Do not use anything lower than 95. And next, you need a thermal paste. A good thermal paste is a must. I will use an Arctic MX4. You can go overboard, overkill with a thermal grizzly cryonaut, but this one is really good. With all this on hand, let's get it started. And also remember by doing this, you're not going to damage any thing inside your windows, your files or programs. They are going to get stay intact. So yeah. So what we're going to do down here, we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover. So keep the screws separate if they're different sizes. And go ahead and start from one corner. I think all the screws are the same size and height. I might have one long or two long ones. Maybe that these two mids are long, I believe. I'm not too sure it's been a while. No, they are the same size. So yeah, go ahead and remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. So yeah, all the screws are the same size, keep them in one pile. Now, once you remove uh, all the screws, you want to grab your opening tool. You're going to start from one corner in the corner. You're going to stick the guitar pick right in there and you're going to twist it. And work yourself around in the front. Keep twisting. And pretty much flying it open and it's really easy to lift this cover, bring it up, wiggle it around and do the back side and lift it up from the back end and it should remove itself so there's the bottom cover and it is very dusty you can see it's kind of actually the humidity is stuck to it so you want to grab a alcohol and spray that a little bit and clean it up you can even wash this bottom let it for dry if you want to be really nifty but again, I'm going to reopen this one later on to do a better job of cleaning. I don't want to spend more time in the video. I want to shoot everything in one cut. So that's the bottom chassis. After that, we're going to see the whole inside, the battery, the heatsink, and the fan. So first things first, before we do anything here, we're going to disconnect the battery by lifting up this uh, gaffer's tape. Now to lift up this battery upward, you want you don't want to put anything metal underneath so i'm going to use a guitar pick a plastic one underneath the cables and i'm just going to push this side make a jack and i should be able to twist it and lift up the connector but sometimes they do get really fussy to be removed you have to be careful because it's really old so if they are pulled upward, so you have to pull them up, and there we go. Once we remove the battery, all we need to do is to 
remove the screws for the fan with a Phillips number one. So let's remove the chrome screw, three of them, one, two, three for the fan. All right, once we remove that, we need to pull this flex cable upward towards the ceiling. Just pull it up this handle. So that's the connector for the LCD. So you want to untangle it around the fan. Just untangle that. There we go. Leave it to one side. Remove the four screws on the heatsink, on the CPU, and two screws for the GPU right on top. Once we remove that, you don't want to lift up from the top here. You want to lift up from the middle. Just squeeze it and lift it up. We forgot the cable for the fan, so don't pull it any longer. You want to, we don't want to pull the cables, fan cables backward. We can damage them. You want to stick the, uh, the tweezers right on the side of the jack. Just right there. And then you want to work, work it around and it will eventually you can pull, slide it out. So there we have it. You can remove this one. You don't even need that. There's no VRAMs in here. So you're sharing the RAM with the, for the VRAM. So there's your old thermal paste is all over the place and it's all dried up. So what we need to do is to remove the fan and clean up the fan and we're going to get to here. Oh, let's do this side first. So I'm going to grab a little workshop towel. You're going to soak it in a alcohol, a corner, a portion. And we're going to wipe the CPU really nice and clean. All you want to concentrate is in the die. You don't care about the around the CPU or the capped on tape or anything like that. All you need to do is clean up the crystal die on the CPU. You can take it outside with a uh, compressed air. You can clean it up nicely. Again, once we clean up the dies right there, now we're gonna work on we're gonna work on the fan. So we're gonna put the fan down. Well, let's remove the excess of the thermal paste in here. So it's not gonna. It is really hard. It is the thermal paste shouldn't be this hard to be removed. So that means. They never did a service on this laptop, which is really bad. Now we're going to put a face down and we're going to grab a Phillips double zero. And we're going to remove the tiny screws over the fan. There should be two of them. They're really tiny screws. Once we remove these ones, we're going to open up these triggers backward just a little bit enough. There's one in every corner. Put it right there. Open up the legs a little bit so we can squeeze out the fan. There we go. This one is a little bit more. And there we have it. And that's the reason why it was overheating and it wasn't working. Look at all this garbage which is in there. So we do need to clean up really nicely all this. The fan, you can take it outside with a toothbrush, brush the fan and the fans and this one right here and blow some compressed air through here. I'm going to do that and I'll be back right after cleaning it. Alright, I cleaned up the fan nicely and I cleaned up the heat sink. They're all cleaned so this is how it's supposed to look like so now we're going to assemble it back together so we're going to bend this one over here put the fan on top make sure you close this locks a little bit just a little bit so it pinches right through and put it right on top move it around make sure you squeeze it right through there Put the two screw, tiny screws for the fan. Okay. Now what you need to do is to grab a thermal paste. Put one drop of thermal paste on the GPU die. And one tiny line on the main die on the CPU. 
and one drop on the secondary die. Don't worry, it's not too much. It's gonna spread. There's a cap on tape. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna push away. As you saw, the main one, it was the same. Well, we're gonna grab the heat sink before we put it down. We're gonna tangle this LCD cable all around this one here, so it's easier for you guys. So tangle that right there, and then bring it and align the heat sink right over the CPU and GPU. Once it's aligned, we start putting the four screws and two screws for the GPU and the CPU with a Phillips number one. I don't like tightening it up right away, so I just put it right on a few few turns. Then I'll come back and I'll just tighten it up again. So on the bottom one, you want to cross the screw them right here. You don't want to go all uh, all around because you want to spread that thermal paste evenly across the CPU die. Now you can cross the screw them again, tighten it up nicely. There we go. Make sure you connect the fan cable. So grab the connector, put it evenly in front of the jack, and it slide it right through the jack. Bring the put the three screws for the fan. Now you want to bring the make sure you leave a little room right there. So adjust the connector right, align it and push down towards the motherboard, the connector evenly. Make sure it makes a nice click sound. Once you're done with all those, double check everything. And last thing, last thing is to grab the connector for the battery, align it over the pins, and then just push it down, and that's it. And if you want to put this gaffer's tape back on top, put it, but if you don't, don't put it. It's not doing anything, because it, it doesn't have any viscosity to it, so it's not actually gluing on, so get a new gaffer's tape, put it over, or just don't put it, otherwise it's gonna go through the fan. Is gonna jam the fan and the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover align it right on top push it down make sure you hit those click sounds and change your screw bit to a torque number five and screw down the screws right on the bottom cover and that should be all and that's how you service your uh, asus laptop the model q 551l if you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm going to power on the laptop so you guys can see that it's working. Then I'm going to come back and put the rest of the screws. I don't know if it has any charge on it. Probably because I don't even have the charger with me. So I have to go look for it. The power is right on this side. Yeah, it has some charge, and there we have the ASUS screen right there. Alright, now I hear the fan nicely blowing. Alright guys, thanks for watching.